Hi. Now, what we've got to do for this first part is to sketch the curve with equation y equals 12 minus x minus x squared, giving the coordinates of all the intercepts with the axes. And in the second part, we've got to solve the inequality 12 minus x minus x squared is greater than zero. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment or two to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, let's see how you got on if you had a go. Well, first of all then, if we've got to sketch the graph of y equals 12 minus x minus x squared, then when we want to find out where it crosses the y-axis, we just let x equals zero. So when x equals zero, you can see that if you substitute that in here, you just end up with y equaling 12. And for where it crosses the x-axis, we would let y equal zero. So when y equals zero, what we have got then is 12 minus x minus x squared equaling zero. And for something like this, what I would do is multiply both sides by negative one, because I never like having a negative x squared there to factorize. So I'm going to uh, multiply both sides by minus one and rearrange, and I'm going to get x squared then plus x minus 12 equals zero. It's up to you whether you do that kind of thing or not, but uh, I certainly prefer doing it. And then I'm going to uh, factorize this, and I'm going to have an x there and an x there. And then I want to get a plus one here and two numbers that multiply together give minus 12. So I can see that's going to be plus four and minus three. So that means that therefore x plus four would equal zero, or x minus three would equal zero. Okay, each of those factors has to equal zero. And for this first one, if I subtract four from both sides, I see that x equals minus four. And if I add three to both sides here, x equals three. So I can see it crosses then the x-axis at these coordinates, minus four and three. So what we'll do is we'll start to sketch that graph then. So got my axis then, x-axis and y-axis. It crosses the x-axis then at negative four. So we'll put that as negative four there. And at three, so we'll bring that just slightly closer to the y-axis. And it crosses the y-axis when x is naught, y is 12. So put 12 there. Now, with something like this, we've got to be careful because it's a negative x squared graph. And negative x squared graphs are always this kind of shape, okay? Like that. So we're going to get something looking like this. But also, it's slightly biased to the left, okay? You can see we've got minus 4 here as opposed to the three there. So the y-axis isn't the axis of symmetry. So it's not going to be at its maximum height here at 12. It's going to gain a maximum height just slightly to the left. So it's going to come up through the minus four, okay? Rise up and then just slightly higher than the 12 there and then drop away through the three, something like that, okay? And that's our parabola. Now, for the second part, we've got to solve the inequality. Well, this part here is essentially the graph, y. So we're looking for where y is greater than zero. And y is greater than zero when we're in between minus four and three. You can see this part of the graph is above the x-axis. All the y values on here are greater than zero. So we're looking then for this section in here. But because it's greater than zero, we're not including minus four and three, okay? If we did, that's what would equal zero at those points. So in the second part for this then, we can see that from the graph, we'll just put that in from the graph. Okay, 12 
minus x minus x squared is greater than zero if x is in between, and we write that like that, in between minus four and three, okay? So that's the second part, and that was the first part.